Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Eric. I'm Bertui. This is an extra special episode because the topic was actually suggested by a diamond member of our super fam. So once a month, we pick a suggestion made by a member of our diamond tier and then we film it. But make sure to leave your comments down below because we still look at them, we still take them into consideration. If you want to join the super fam, get to pick an episode topic and have a bunch of other awesome perks, make sure you head on over to the React channel and click join or you can hit the link down in the description to check it out. Huge shout out to Paige for suggesting Kids React to Sid and Marty Croft. Once upon Summertime, just a dream from Is this like a show? What are we watching? What the? Play with me, Jimmy. This seems like a really old show. Play with me, Jimmy. Come and play. I'm confused. Oh no, that's creepy. Come and play with me, Jimmy. Come. Oh my gosh, my mom has told me. Is this? Oh my gosh, I forget the name. I'm so stupid. Um, something Stefan. Uh. Is it? I don't even know. My mama showed me this before, I think. Don't the boat belong to a cookie or witch? It looks like Wizard of Oz. From her broom broom in the sky, she watched her plans materialize. She waved her wand. It looks like something from the 90s. But Puffin Stuff was watching too. And That's creepy. I hate puppets. Oh my god. But Puffin Stuff was watching There you go! I knew it! The monster thing is like creepy. He called his rescue racer. What is this from? Like Yo Gabba Gabba. This is the last episode of Sesame Street, isn't it? HR Puff and Stuff. HR Puff and Stuff. HR Puff and Stuff. Boom. Can you tell me what just happened? HR Puff and Stuff? I need to watch this. So, we're going to be showing you more shows like this in a second, but that TV show is called HR Puff and Stuff. Given the name. <laughs> that face is just creeping me out. Like, that big of a smile is scary. This show is about a shipwrecked boy named Jimmy who travels with his friend Freddy, the talking flute, to the living island, which is home to dancing trees and singing frogs. Oh, and the flute he's blowing? On this island is a witch named Witchy Poo. Wait, Witchy Poo? Witchy Poo? <laughs> it sounds so little. And Witchy Poo wants to take Jimmy as prisoner so she can take Freddy the flute for herself. But HR Puff and Stuff, a friendly dragon, and also mayor of Living Island is trying to protect them. That's a dragon? That does not look like a, a dragon. So from the opening theme and what I just told you, if this show aired today, do you think kids would watch it? No. I don't think I would watch it. Probably not. Not really. Some kids would actually watch it because like, they're like, what are we supposed to watch? Oh, look at this thing. Oh my God, this is scary. No, not at all. This looks like um, like SpongeBob or something where you don't have like really any morals to it. No, I don't think kids these days would like it. They'd be like, that's gross. Make it into a meme. I don't know if it's babyish or not, but I, I think I would love it and watch it for every day. No, I feel like it would be one episode. We didn't get enough money to do the rest. Bye bye. Can't show canceled. I feel like everybody hates puppets. Like puppets creep everybody out. In the middle of the summer, in the middle of a park, there began a great adventure for a boy whose name was Mark. He had come to see the magic band. I've kind of noticed this. Lots of singing intros explaining the story. Then quietly he did return the secret. A very catchy song. The moment that he touched the hat, the room began to glow. And as he put it down and ran, the hat began to grow. And grow. This is so weird. Okay. This does not look realistic at all. He was stunned and he was fascinated. I wonder what's gonna happen. Um, this is weird. Then cautiously each step he took. I'm kind of scared. I, I wouldn't go in there if I was him. He's gonna fall in. Watch him. And all at once the hat began to shake. I knew. <laughs> Okay, why are all the shows back then so creepy? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I can't. This is the weirdest trip ever. That is horrifying. What kind of kid would like this? What kind of magician is this? Oh. This is so bad. Not as good as today's visuals. What? Oh my god. Help! Help! 
It's weird because I've never heard of this before. I've never heard of any of these. I hate puppets. I can't. What is the thing about puppets? <laughs> How's that for a chopper? <laughs> What kind of joke was that? I don't get it. Like, the song doesn't even go together. I feel like they made it up on the spot. They're like, okay, today's the day. Let's just make something up about a hat growing. So, Lidsville is about a teenage boy named Mark, played by the same actor who played Eddie Munster on the show Munsters. I've never heard of Munsters. So he falls into this giant magician's hat, ends up in a town where everyone who lives there is a giant hat. Oh! Yeah, of course. The fact that they are living hats is weird. And they're trying to avoid the evil magician named Hoodoo. I hate it. Love these names. So great names. So tell me, if this was a new show today, do you think kids would watch it? No. No, I don't think kids would watch it. Especially that bunny in the bottom right corner. Nope. I don't think kids would watch it. I think kids would. I really don't think nobody would watch it. Most kids would be like, no, 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 mom, don't make me watch that. No. <laughs> the characters were less creepy. I feel like I would Kinda watch it. No, it's so creep. That's, or at least just from the intro, it looks so creepy. I would watch it and love it. Like I, I, I like shows like this. They're like really good and all, and they're creepy and it just is funny, right? You know, cause they like do crazy stuff and it's funny. On a very weird beach, round dead man's point with their haunted feet. My mom showed me this one too. Let's go. Oh God. Oh God. You're a rotten sea monster. You're a disgrace to the family. Go out and scare a human or your <laughs> This is really funny. Meanwhile, back on the beach. I feel like all these TV shows have like the same music. Unaware that behind that sigma I live by the beach and I have not seen one of those yet. Oh, they're all made by the same person. Uh. It's made by the same people again. This one isn't that scary. It's kind of nice. This is so funny, but so weird. I'm sorry to the creators, but I hate it. It looks like lettuce with creepy eyes and one giant tooth. I would not put that in my salad. I've actually watched something like this, but it was like a remake of it, I think, on Amazon. So Sigmund and the Sea Monsters is about a sea monster named Sigmund who was thrown out by his undersea family for not wanting to scare people and ends up finding human friends on shore. Hmm. That's what I would do. They're like trying to fit in and they're like, no, you were bad, you bad. You go. That's interesting about how you don't need to follow exactly what people tell you to do and you can just find friends along the way. So do you think if it came out today kids would watch it? I don't really think kids would. That creepy piece of lettuce. I feel like it's watching me. I think they'd watch it. Yes. I would watch it. The only reason why I would watch it is because it's cute. Not many kids. I don't think kids would watch it today. If they made a remake and I saw it then maybe kids might see it. This one with the colors and stuff, yeah they probably would. If the quality was better. Yes, it could. I mean, the premise of it, I think they could go a lot of ways with it. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. It's another show like the other shows. Earthquake, never known. It looks so fake. Ah. This CGI is blah. These are like the best like green screen work I think I've ever seen. It's so bad. <laughs> like you can tell that's not even how that was. <gasps> the same people make it. Dinosaurs. So I guess it's supposed to be based like from a long time ago or something. Um, the music does not sound like what's going on. I am like scared. You can clearly see that the dinosaurs are like toys. Land of the Lost is about a family who are lost in an alternate universe that is inhabited by dinosaurs and are trying to get back to their own time all while avoiding getting eaten. I feel like that'd be scary for kids. So what about this one? Do you think if it came out today that kids would watch it? I think if it had this quality, I don't think kids would watch it. I don't really think that people are more interested in like Shows like this, like with dinosaurs. Kids would watch it. I wouldn't. Maybe if the dinosaur effects looked better, 
I think kids would probably watch it. No. No. I definitely do think kids would watch it. I would say they would watch it. Yes, it's kind of like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. What? This is horrible. It's a bug who turns the other people into a fly. There's no way that they're singing that. Oh my gosh, the bugs. Oh, that person's face. So I'm guessing that she's like the villain or something? I, I don't get it. I don't get this. What the heck did I just watch? So Bugaloos is about a group of teenage musicians who live in a fictional forest and wear insect-themed costumes that allow them to actually fly. I want to try that now. And wear that bug costume every day. But what does the lady at the bottom, the villain person, do? Mm -hmm. So they're being threatened by Bonita Bazaar, who's a jealous, unsuccessful singer. She lives in a jukebox and continues to play bad music all the time. Oh, okay. She's just jealous of them getting all the spotlight and she wants to be like a main character? Okay, that's interesting. So for Bugaloos, if this show was new today, do you think kids would watch it? Not at all. I think so. It has a pretty good premise. I don't see why not. I would never watch that. Never. Just from this picture. I know I wouldn't like this. I know I wouldn't. I definitely think kids would watch it. I don't really think people would watch them. No. Like, that's something I know kids would not watch. I don't think anyone would really want to watch this. Who wants to make these things? They're just weird. So all of these shows were made by brothers Sid and Marty Croft in the 70s and 80s, and back then, a lot of their shows were very popular for kids. Well, maybe back then I would watch it, but now I know I would not. The CGI was good for the time, but... Who would watch that? I can understand back then the effects probably looked too real. But nowadays I don't think anyone would really watch those shows with those graphics and everything like that. They were so popular that at one point there was even an indoor amusement park based on the TV shows they produced called The World of Sid and Marty Croft. They did? But that's not around now, I'm pretty sure. I hope it's not like Disneyland. Nothing can replace Disneyland. That was scary, so why would they make a amusement park? Compared to what you and the other kids watch today, does it seem surprising that these shows that you just watched are that popular for children? Yes, it, it does. I know I would have nightmares if I watched the whole season of the creepy lettuce dude. No, it wasn't that big of a surprise. They seemed like kind of more of generic shows that would come out. I don't think kids would like it as much now. I feel like kids, like, kind of would be scared of that, like, it's kind of creepy, you know? But back then, I guess it wasn't. I think they're not creating them today just because all this animation is getting better, so they don't need, like, big costumes and all this, like, live-action stuff. Now, I feel like no kids would watch things like that. If they didn't have anything else, that's what I would do, too. But, like, since we have, like, YouTube and, like, Netflix now, like, that's all, like, kids nowadays, like, do. So a lot of Sid and Marty Croft shows had similar themes of getting lost somewhere and then trying to get back home, though some also felt the shows were teaching kids to make friends with and be accepting of people who are different than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I see a lot of that. But these lessons were less obvious, and the creators even said, to quote, kids go to school five days a week. They don't need to learn any more lessons on the weekend. Yeah, that... That makes more sense. It's just TV is TV. It's not like TV and educational. It's just TV. So after learning a little bit more about all these shows, do you wish there were more kids' content like this today with better technology and production, or do you prefer the shows that are made for you today? I like the shows that I have. I prefer the shows that were made today, but like those ideas were really creative. I'm sure that if they had better like technology, then it could be popular now. If they did, then it would be good now. I think I'll just stick with the newer day things, not that old things. Those things are too creepy. I kind of wish there were more shows like that. It's like fantasy, you know, like take you away from real life, you know, because I feel like the TV shows nowadays, like it could like really happen. But I kind of like the fantasy of it. Like it's teaching a lesson, but it's also like fun. Hi guys, I am Paige. I am a Diamond member here on FBE. I want to know what you guys thought about my choice, which was react to Sid and Marty Croft TV shows. What is your favorite Sid and Marty Croft TV show? Mine's Bugaloos. Comment down below what yours is and don't forget to like.